Yep. Uh -uh. Right back at the video, man. Hey, man, we got uh, will his will his will he uh will he cheat during his job interview? Hey, man, look, man. Y'all know we came in to do, man. Y'all know we didn't come to do, man. We came in to get straight to the point. What we didn't come to do, man, is all that other stuff, man. With that being said, I'm gonna drive to be able to do it. Keep the merch. Sneak peek, though, so Shh, it's not out yet. Okay. There she is. Hey, Hi. what's up? Nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you, too. If it isn't already obvious, we're recording this, if that's okay. That's fine. Okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. So why is it that you wanted to put this thing together, then? Why is it that you wanted to set up a test? <laughs> to be honest, he doesn't have any red flags, but mm -hmm. I do want to see how he'll react if someone were to flirt with him. So okay. you're just kind of curious, then? Yeah. Got you. I'm yeah. nervous, but I because I'm senior, so, so I could go <laughs> Yeah, anything can happen, right? Anything can happen. Yeah, I trust him. I don't think he'd be capable. I just don't want things to end bad or nothing like that, especially if there's nothing already going bad with you guys right now. I mean, if it's meant to be. That's right. Jocelyn reached out to us via our Google Docs form. She didn't suspect her boyfriend of cheating, she just wanted to see what he would do when placed to a loyalty test. I was very hesitant on filming this video because you guys know how bad these things can go. But after a couple of other tests unfortunately fell through and after triple checking that she was sure, we were giving this thing a go. How do you think is the best way to get him to the home that we're going to be filming? I'm yeah. Do you I still think going through like what he does movies. for work and all that? I think so, because if it has anything to do with work, he's up for it. Okay. So how does he pick oh, up so. clients? Do they normally like text him? Do they call him? Does he have a website? Is it through social media? It's kind of everything, like personal number, email. Got you. Okay. We have a buddy who owns an open mic company, so I was thinking about hitting him up and then having him hit your boyfriend up and being like, hey, are you down for filming some of our open mics or whatever? Not entirely a concrete idea just yet, but that's what's uh, been on my mind. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll go that direction. Maybe not. We'll see. Oh my god, Kyle, that's is folks. this a new rap? Yeah, that's oh folks. my god. This is not the cyber truck. This is the cyber boost. I think we're gonna have to use this truck in a video. I would fall for this truck. I mean, <laughs> what you make that thing damp at there? I love this truck. I think we gotta put this beast in a test. I know? think the cyber beast needs its own test. Cyber beast test coming soon, but for this video, this is where Nathan and Kyle will be sneaking out. Now, the way we're getting Justin to this house was through his work. You see, Justin is a cinematographer. He works with camera and video. Well, we know someone who's looking to hire a cinematographer. Have I got a surprise that the OGs are gonna love. That door big as hell. And that door wrong as hell. Where you at? Darn it! <laughs> Yo, we got the OG himself back, Jordan. Uh, his car is on the tow truck right now. I know. I know some people out there remember Jordan. I know a lot of people out there remember seven Jordan. Seven years ago. Was it seven, seven years, years ago? ago? Jordan's been out here grinding with this open mic company, just killing the game. We've done over 200 events in LA. We just did a world tour. First event ever to do an open mic at Rolling Loud. All we That'll do be is provide man. opportunities to independent music artists. Tapping with something dope for the people. We're going to be doing an event in your city soon. The goal was to get Justin to come over and have a meeting with Jordan about potentially working together. We thought it would be a little suspicious if Jordan were to hit up Justin himself, though. Like, how does this big open mic company conveniently pick out Justin out of all these other cinematographers in LA? Well, to get around this, we had Jocelyn tell Justin about the opportunity instead. Jocelyn told her boyfriend that she met Violet, aka Jordan's assistant, through a mutual friend. According to Jocelyn, Violet mentioned that Jordan was looking for someone to film his open mic events. Jocelyn thought Justin would be a great fit for the job, so she and Violet began facilitating a meeting with the big man. Jocelyn had to convince Justin to meet with Jordan. She showed him the something dope pages, the websites, the videos, and told him whatever she needed to tell him to make this opportunity seem more lucrative and legitimate. And eventually, her work paid off. Soon after, the meeting was set in stone. Okay, cool. Here we go, guys. This is it. Violet should be getting a text from Jocelyn that she is here with her boyfriend. Now, we had Jocelyn act as middleman so that one, she could easily tag along, and two, so that Violet could ask for Justin's number during the loyalty test. As of right now, Violet has had zero communication with Justin, and she doesn't have his contact information. But do you guys know that some people online might have your contact information? I'm serious. Your Maybe name, yeah. number, address, date of birth, social security, agree, name, phone number. But thankfully, we can use bank accounts. And in the worst case scenario, Aura gives me five. Aura.com, go to Aura.com slash UD and try it for free. Okay, I'll go get them. Oh, I think Violet just got a text up there right here. Hey. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I think they're here. Kyle and Nathan, I think the couple has arrived. Kyle and Nathan, I think the couple has arrived. Oh, shit. oh dude, hey, lean back, lean back, 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 back. Bro, he got 5% tip, boy. He got laid back. Well, hold on. Bro, this 
Oh, what the fuck on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ethan, I think the couple has arrived. Oh, oh dude. Hey, lean back. Lean back, 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 back. That's bitch is see-through. I ain't gonna lie. Why the fuck you got a cyber truck with? Well, at the angle, folks, it's probably see-through, dude. See-through from this angle, but it's probably not see-through from the sides. You probably got 5%. Bro, this is going way too slow. Something's going way too slow. Lay back, lay back. Oh, wait. Oh, it is 5%. No, they're good. Oh, the tent's good. Oh, they're coming right now. Oh, that's them. All right. Guys are right on time. Yay. So nice to see you. How are you? Justin, right? Yes. Justin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Damn. Look, I feel like right now we're like undercover, bro. Like this. How was your guys' drive? Oh, don't worry about it. How was the drive? It was okay. It was okay. Nothing too crazy. That's good. How's it going? Jordan. Justin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jordan. Awesome. Hope the drive wasn't too crazy. You know, we're pretty high up here right now. So. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it was okay. You know, LA, LA traffic. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Can we get you, you guys, water? Yeah. Or? Do you want any snacks or anything? Any water? Yeah, so, sure, you do have sure. some over there. Do you need anything? I'm going to go. Yeah. You want some snacks? Yeah. Okay. I'll go ahead and get you some. And my name's Violet, by the way. I don't know if I might have forgot to introduce myself. But yeah. I know she knew me, Make but yourself my name's home. Violet. <laughs> okay. yep. yeah. uh, please yep. take a seat. <laughs> okay, Jocelyn was not supposed to ask for snacks here. Oh, she wanted some snacks, okay. <laughs> this was not part of the plan, but... Yeah, that okay. was terrible. Jocelyn's line here was to ask to use the restroom. This would then give her the perfect excuse to come to the control room. But I mean, hey, it happens. She's probably just nervous. Jocelyn forgot her line. Oh, that's all good. It's all good. Nerves, guys. But yeah, so, like, how long have you been a cinematographer? Tell me about it. Five, six years now. Okay. Violet refreshes Jocelyn on her line and steers this test into the right direction. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, I yeah. just wanted to make sure, is the bathroom still not uh, working? Because she just needs to not, go. It's not fixed yet. Sorry about that. We have like mm -hmm. eight bathrooms here. Okay. Um, Take her to upstairs or there's... Yeah, there's one upstairs next to the lounge. If you want to just like chill in there while there. Well. Yeah, if you got your yeah. Chill in there. What the fuck are you talking Sorry, about? So Why are you chilling in the bathroom? As you saw, you probably checked out the page. It's all for independent music artists. Violet came in with a save and leads Jocelyn into our control room while Jordan remains downstairs pretending to interview Justin. We have an amazing team now. As you see, our you know content is it's doing very well. But do you like to travel? We're gonna be traveling a lot. Do you have a passport? I do. Yeah. I love traveling. I mean, we're at the point now where we're doing these events in Italy. Oh. Oh, you good? Yeah, she's good. She's gonna just like chill up in the lounge. If you need her anything, just let me know because this is So it's the bathroom, now it's the lounge. That don't even fucking make sense. That, this is some more, like this This is like the other one for they did the one in the goddamn grocery store. That don't even make no damn sense. So she going to the bathroom, but now she gonna chill in the lounge. Like what the hell? This is kind of spotty. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna oh. just wait. Okay, all right, thank, thank you. you. So yeah, pretty much we're preparing to increase our output on the content side. So so now we just gotta wait for them to walk us in. Once they walk us in, we'll do okay. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I might have been like I'm a, I'm a Canadian citizen too. Oh, so. you're Canadian. Yeah. So I. I what? Well, you know, hey, man. I'm sorry. Just I just wanna say I'm sorry, Canada. I know y'all are going through tough times. Yeah. You're in LA right now, yeah. home of Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> so yeah. sorry. Um. Damn, I thought Jordan was about to get into something political, but this man is talking about Drake versus Kendrick Lamar. How are you feeling? I feel like I feel pretty confident. I still feeling confident. Pretty confident. Okay. We'll see if she passes. I want everybody to pass, but hear me out. If they have that ability to cheat and not be truthful around their partner, I'd rather their partner see it and not waste that time. Yeah, so we have a record label and we're going to have many different artists that we would love for you to work directly with. What's your favorite genres of music? You know, Canada, do you love Drake, rap? Like, what do you, what are you uh, listening to? I grew up listening. <laughs> the amount of shade that Jordan is throwing towards Canadians. I thought this beef was over. How long have you guys been dating and everything? Shit, the little, the little oh. subliminal Drake been sending on, Insta on fucking Instagram, you know, his, you know how he is, man. The fucking memes and shit, man. These motherfuckers and his little fanboys on Twitter and shit, they thinking it ain't over for. They thinking this nigga Drake still finna come back with some more shit. Mm. Almost two years. Almost two years. On November, yeah. Oh, nice. It's a solid relationship so far, then, right? So far, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I hope, I hope 
you'll be okay. But we think I'll be fine. Again, as always, I mean, you've seen the videos. Yeah. If you, I mean, anything can happen. Uh, it's in England, France, Italy, Spain, Portugal, Greece. Oh wow. He seemed like a nice guy though. I don't, yeah, I, so I, I don't think yeah. it don't seem like he's cheap. Bro. London and Italy. Also Canada, your home. But uh, we need someone that is willing and able to travel. Do you have a car in like LA or Canada or what's what's going yeah, on? Yeah, I do have a car. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> What does Jordan have against Canada? All right, if you are Canadian, I need you to stand up for your damn country because Jordan is coming for you. Anyways, throughout this entire interview, Violet was in the other room just chilling, waiting for McHugh to move on to the next step. When the time was right, I texted her that she was good to move things along. So she picked up her phone and pretended to jump on a phone call with Kyle and Nathan. Hello? Yeah, but he's in a meeting right now. Kyle and Nathan, Violet is faking the phone call. You guys are good to go to the front door. Okay, perfect. We about to go down. I know, I understand, but he's in a meeting right now. No, just wait. Just wait. He's in a meeting right now. So I can't. That's kind of rude. We have okay. one Canadian okay. on our team as is. Okay. He is officially yeah. LA He's now. In a meeting. I don't know. We got experience converting Canadians. So we'll bring you over to the right side. You know, sorry, no, you know, disrespect to the city hey. or country of Canada. Hey, hey, he's hey, in a meeting. Good. He's in a meeting right now, like I said. So I don't really know. Uh... Nathan is pretending to be an artist who is supposed to perform at Jordan's show, and Kyle is pretending to be his manager. They're here to talk to Jordan about a conflicting scheduling issue. Uh, it was a schedule conflict. Okay, I'm gonna just come. I'll tell him, and then you guys can. I'll tell him you're here, and then you guys can kind of explain what's happening. Okay, perfect. Oh. They dropped in Hello. for his yep. second. What's good? Been a while. What's up, Mr. Cybertruck? Bro, I'm new to take a Bro, uh, so sorry to interrupt you guys. Man. Yeah, I am in a meeting. Uh, this is Justin. He said Mr. Cybertruck like the Cybertruck wasn't sitting outside when 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 when, when he got there, folks. So, it's a lot of red flags, folks. It's a lot of red flags. It, 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 if he was smart, folks, I would have picked up on that shit. Nigga, it's a Cybertruck outside, and you just call him a Cybertruck. So that's his Cybertruck? Dumbass. He uh, he thinks he's ready to join the something dope team. Ooh. How you doing, Nate? Nice you know. Welcome. Uh, so pretty much, we need to kind of make it so he either performs an hour earlier. Wait for what? Wait, what is it? For the show in Vegas. Okay, Vegas show. We could headline. We could have him headline uh, another event. We just had a prior commitment, and there's yeah. a bit of a scheduling conflict okay. with our agent. My bad. I'm still like halfway mentally yeah. in this meeting. Sorry. Um, I need to get to my computer before I can even figure it out. You know, we got 25 shows right now, I like know, an hour early. I'm like, I don't even know what time, like, you know what, but anything y'all need, it shouldn't be a yeah. problem. Are you in any kind of rush? No, uh, no, it's, it's Yeah, okay. I can, I can wait with him while you guys. Okay, yeah, let me take care, uh, yeah. care of these guys real quick. Oh, okay, this is good. This is really good. I offered him water. Maybe he doesn't want any. Maybe he yeah, does now. Do Make yourself you at home, though. Water, Give him a tour, stuff? too. Show him the house, like, whatever. Water? Let's get, uh, yeah, let me, yeah, yeah, let me get on the okay. computer. Yeah, yeah, no, no. It's all good. Spot we gotta do. No. It's crazy. All right, you guys are coming up. Nathan and Kyle did a great job expressing a sense of urgency. Thanks to them, we were able to get Jordan upstairs and to Violet by herself with Justin. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Come on. That's good. I'll just chill down here with you. And with that, our final's complete. We've set up the perfect scenario for Violet to talk to Justin and make a move on him. The moment of truth has finally arrived. I'll just chill down here with you. Hey, sorry. Uh, I think that was kind of my, well, the scheduling was a little off, but it happens sometimes. Yeah, things happen. Yeah, so, excited about the job? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's super cool, yeah. Yeah, I've had a great time like experience working with them. Yeah, he uses me for some of their like promo too, so I get a lot of like okay. he's a really yeah. great person to work with, so it'll be okay. a good experience. Yeah. That's good yeah, it's super exciting yeah. stuff. Okay, so remember right here, she's just trying to get her his number. Mm -hmm. Might make subtle hints at going out mm -hmm. and all that stuff, but you can decide if you wanna call it quits here or if you wanna keep it going to like a phase two, okay. But you said you do cinematography, right? Sin yes, yeah, yeah. Oh that's cool. And then where did you say you were coming in from? Uh, Irvine. Irvine. Oh, I used to, I just moved from down over there. I lived in Huntington for like two oh, years. I know the college, I know the college team back from down cool. at UC Irvine. I like Irvine. There was a really good boat yep. over there. I know about UC Irvine. <laughs> yeah. Watch a lot of college basketball. A lot of like, bougie, like, places. Yeah, I, 
I worked at the South Coast Plaza, but I guess that's Coast, but they're like next to each other. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they give me like a similar vibe, I would say. But yeah, it was nice. Where did, did you grow up in Orange County? No, actually, I grew up in Canada. <laughs> down here I actually just got like my citizenship oh really oh congratulations that's super exciting yeah, yeah. that's like not an easy thing to do at all yeah I mean it, it took like, like 10 years wow damn 10 years I ain't yeah, know it took well, that congratulations. long congratulations it's really thank exciting you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I've always wanted to go to Canada what part of Canada were you from I was from Toronto yeah. oh like you friends with Drake <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay do you speak any like French or anything? Violet continued buttering just enough. I feel like she had a couple missed opportunities to make her move, but I mean, I get it. She was in a professional setting and she couldn't move too quickly. Are you planning on moving up here? Or are you okay with the commute? Um, the commute's fine. Like I, I, I think I could probably just like stick it out. You know, just cause yeah. LA is just so expensive to live here. Yeah, I get yeah. that. Trust me, I get so that. So LA is expensive and it got bad traffic. That's tough. I heard, I heard Texas getting bad traffic now. And shit, I don't really know about Atlanta, but I heard a lot of places getting bad traffic. Yeah. Everyone's got to always be doing something. Yeah, I get that. Well, I'd love to, like, you know, because I do, like, a little bit of, like, modeling type stuff. I'd love to, like, maybe see your work. Maybe we could... What type of cinematography do you do? Um, I mostly do... I was like, maybe we could work together. Maybe I could get, like, your Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. thank you. Damn, so just like that, Violet bags the Instagram. But page. but it, it, it's it's a biz it's like business. It's not like oh okay, let me get your number. You feel me? We finna do this that. It's business. It know? doesn't mean this thing is over yet though. This man still has a chance. I love to see your work too, cause you know, it's just fun. How long have you been doing it? Uh, for like five or six years. Five or six yeah. years. Oh, that's nice. So this is me. I'm like, dang, wait, that's actually a long time. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Oh, that's super cool. Okay, you gave up the Instagram. Technically, it's networking purposes. Though. Yeah, so it's like technically still just whatever. Oh, that's super sick. You know, you ever want to do like a shoot? Like, I'd totally be down. You know, maybe we could do like a shoot just like us. Like, we could like come up with like a concept or something. You know, we could get have like some fun. You always got to be up to something when you're in LA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a crazy place. A lot of fun things happen. Yeah, gotta, gotta stay busy. Do you ever need, like, models and stuff? Yeah, totally, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's exciting. Yeah. I don't know, I've been, like, trying to get more into stuff, especially, like, moving out here and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is my Instagram, so you can kind of, like, see my vibe. Like, okay. the things I post. If you're, like, into oh, any yeah. of that, if you want to, like, do stuff like that, that could be kind of cool, too. Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah, that'd be super cool. Oh, man, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm getting nervous. I am getting nervous. I told Jocelyn anything can happen. As of right now, Violet's only been dropping hints, but she's about to go for it. Well, like, if you're ever down, like, I don't know if you do, like, private shoots or anything, but maybe we could, like, get your number and we could, like... Um, I don't do much private shoots, but, um, yeah, I could definitely get okay. your number if you yeah. want to yeah you can put it there yeah what? Mm. not necessarily though because you said you said he used everything you said you said he used his number you said he used instagram you said he used everything so it's still marketing and they no 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 wait hold on this is not over i'm gonna give the canadian the benefit of the doubt here and say that Me i don't too. think he fully understood what violet meant by this i don't think he got the full picture what do you guys think of this as of right now has violet made her intentions clear or is justin giving up the number still to him just networking what yeah because see when he was he was iffy he the number He's giving a professional right. though i don't feel an expectation by a yeah i mean person. either for from him from her though Regardless, though, at the end of the day, remember, this is enough to take it to a phase two. Yeah, honestly, like, not trying to be, like, too forward or anything, mm -hmm. but I, like, I feel like we kind of, like, vibe. I don't know. How? You don't, you don't even know the nigga. You don't even know the nigga. I would have hit ass, man, you don't even know me, bro. We don't even talking for, like, ten minutes. What are you talking about? You, you feel like a vibe. It ain't no damn vibe here, boy. You tripping. You losing your damn marbles. So I was like maybe thinking uh, we could like get to know each other a little uh, on like you know uh, he's trying to see if she coming down like damn play that back play that back this is man looked around he shit is she coming back yet is she coming back yet because if she ain't i might do it why is he making sure his girlfriend is still upstairs and can't hear oh god like i could have gone upstairs but like i don't know i just like felt like a vibe kind of oh here we go okay now she is Mm -hmm. I know, like, you came with your girl, so I'm not trying to, like, 
You right. know, it'd be weird. But like. No, yeah. I mean, um, are you are you like flirting with me? Like, <laughs> yeah, like I just, I just like, you know. Gotta have time for fun sometimes too. Oh man, hey, my is it. cooking. That's I think it. we could do like maybe a shoot together and like maybe we could get to know each other. I just feel like we kind of like vibe. What do you mean? Feeling like? any like? I just <laughs> like. felt like maybe like we could just get to know each other a little more. <laughs> okay. Um, Nervous though. What? Why are you <laughs> laughing? Okay, am I am I getting like recorded right now? Like. Why would we be, why would you be like being recorded? I don't know, like this just feels really like synthetic, I guess, like artificial. That like, shit fake. That's what I'm saying. I, I told y'all, the way y'all did this shit, folks, it don't seem real. It just don't make sense, folks. That shit don't make sense, folks. It don't, because how the fuck you call, you walk in, you say, Mr. Cybertruck guy. And then just have it, like, yeah, folks, he, he, he got a brain, folks. Because. What do you. <laughs> I, I think I know what this is, like... Like, what do you mean? I was... Like, it's, you know, like, it's a work for me. Like, I've never, nobody's ever, you know... I just, I just thought you were trying to, but, like, I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable or anything. Yeah, but it's also, like, I just get brought to this house, right, man? And then all of a sudden, his assistant yeah, still just comes in here, and, like, starts flirting with me, like, I... I like, I mean, I wasn't trying to like be disrespectful or anything. Like, uh -huh. I'm so sorry. That nigga nervous as hell. I'm sorry if I um, I don't know what. Like, I'm just, you know, I was right. just trying to talk to you. He's questioning everything. All right, we had no idea if Justin had caught onto this test or if he was just suspicious of Violet hitting on him and thought something else was going on. I just thought you were like kind of cute. Like, you know sorry. <laughs> I was just, I'm sorry, I was just trying to flirt with you, but, like, I don't mean to make you, like, uncomfortable or anything. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a, I'm a real, you know, Chris Hemsworth, you know, like, I, six foot five, don't, don't, you know. Don't say that, you're cute. 225. I like your hair. It's, like, right. fluffy. But that I don't, six I don't want to make you, like, uncomfortable no, or anything. I could, and, and you're Jordan's assistant? Yeah. Like, his actual assistant? Yes. Okay. <laughs> He's not buying it. Mm -hmm. He's like, all right. Damn, yeah, I think our plan is definitely foiled. At least for today. Maybe that's why this man was looking around. He wasn't looking for his girlfriend, he just grew suspicious. By the way, did Violet really call this man's hair fluffy? What, is, what does that even mean? No, he's 6'5". Like, yeah. yeah. We met at like a um, party a couple, like what a year ago. It was a Chief Keef party. Chief <laughs> Keef party? Have you ever like watched the show around him? I don't think so. <laughs> Why is that funny? Okay. He does like events, so I met him there, and then right, he hired me yeah. for some stuff, and we Right, 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 yeah, that's what happened, okay. right, yeah, 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 for sure. Normally, just like, you just like hit on his clients or something, or well, like... no, I just thought you were kind of cute, but like, I wasn't uh, trying to, I just like, I thought we had like similar interests, uh, like we were talking about the cinematography, like I thought we kind of... Right, like, yeah, uh-huh. really like cinematography, too. Yeah, I think it's like super interesting. Cool. Yeah, cool. for sure. Yup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I believe you. I don't believe shit you talking about. You fuck it. That's what that's what he's saying, for. That's basically what he's saying. All them yeah, right. Okay. Cool. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. I hear what you saying, man. I don't hear believe shit you talking about. Is what he's really saying. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's not buying it. He got on. He does. He gets hit on by a girl, he's like, This must be a TV show. <laughs> Like, I am sad. This cannot be real life. What's going on here? I wasn't like, do you want like a snack or something? I feel really bad. Yeah, I wasn't trying to like make you snack. uncomfortable or anything. I'll, I'll, I'll take come, I'll take come here. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry if I came on too strong. Oh. Like, don't tell Jordan. Like, I wasn't trying to scare you away. Kudos to Violet for not breaking character and still trying to save this thing. You don't think she could save it? Jocelyn, you know him best. Um, you think there's a point in keeping this going? You Maybe think? he's paranoid. I mean, he doesn't know for sure yet. Like. Do you think he's catching on to the fact that it's a loyalty test, or do you think that he's catching on to the fact like something else is going on? I feel like he's not sure what it is, but I know for a fact that he knows something is happening. And, but now I feel bad because I feel like I made you like uncomfortable and I wasn't trying to. Do you want to continue? For example, sending Jordy back downstairs and trying to play it off, and we could take it into a phase two, or do you think like, no, nah, this whole thing is spoiled? Yeah, I think he's caught on to this. Yeah, you don't yeah. think there's any point in saving this? Mm -mm. 
I'm okay. surprised he's not questioning the house. He's looking around a lot. He knows he's. I feel like we need to send Jordan back down to make this look somewhat authentic so he could at least get to the interview and make it look like somewhat real. Uh, well, is he going to be hireable either way? <laughs> He's all working for I you. was getting into the interview, you know. Yeah, I, I was like, like, he actually had potential. Not gonna lie, guys, I was pretty down to take this into a phase two and just see how things played out. But ultimately, it was Jocelyn's choice. To her, this whole thing was spoiled. And when I really think about it, she's honestly right. Even if we were to continue this two, three weeks from now, this man would still be onto us. This man's very smart and very upfront. There's no way Violet hits him up two months from now without him still being like, are you flirting with me? Which in my book, makes him loyal. At uh, this point, either we have to AA play it off like this is an episode sort of punk and it's not a loyalty <laughs> test <laughs> and what like we're doing something else or be i mean don't get me wrong i don't think he was gonna fail this test anyway yeah i didn't even know like, yeah. yeah, I wasn't telling me the fuck. I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't telling me the fuck. I ain't think he's gonna feel it. Just off the way he came in in the first place, for like I said, for he just came off like a very nice guy, for I didn't really get uh he was gonna cheat vibes from him, for what if I didn't he get stumbles that across it on YouTube though? Oh, this shit is gonna be it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Okay, why not? We prank him by tricking him the show he's on. <laughs> I really am not trying to make you uncomfortable. She's just saying the same and now shit. I just, Shut I the hell up. Because I can feel like you're uncomfortable. Right. So we'll just wait for them to get back. Are you gaslighting me? Like, I feel like you're. I, like, I feel like I'm schizophrenic. I don't think I'll take it if you tell him that it was a loyalty test. I feel like he already knows. But will he be upset that he thinks that you didn't trust him? You know, like, it could be safer for you to not tell him. Like, I want to see the video later on, though. Yeah, but I mean, it, yeah, I'll let him figure out for well. Nah, I wouldn't because I mean, either way it go, when he see the video, for he gonna hit his girl tell, tell him that um, he gonna hit his girl tell him like, I trust him. I just doing it. I'm just doing it just for fun. I ain't doing it. You feel me? You know. She didn't tell him. If he didn't automatically notice and recognize Violet or YouTube, there's no way he watched it. Exactly. Channel. He would have known exactly. He would have known exactly. He'd probably see it if I see it. She's about to unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Unsubscribe, not follow. Whatever you want to do, what do you think? I'm low-key down to say it was like a prank. Yes. For another show. <laughs> yeah, a prank is better than a test. It's not like you were testing him. Exactly. It was a prank. <laughs> Are you going down or no? I don't think I should. No, you need to stay up here. I'll stay up here watching. I'll yeah. tell him about my show, Punk. Yeah. What if he doesn't believe that? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta come so down with the cameras. Jocelyn decides to come clean to Justin. You know, in her own way. I feel like you like think I'm like doing something crazy to you right now. You know what you're saying, Kyle? Yeah, this is our new version of Punk. It'll be on a, my YouTube channel. I'm doing my You don't have to see YouTube. It'll be out on TV or something like that. Jordan and Nathan, you can ask him why he caught on, how he caught on, et cetera, et cetera. You guys got this. <laughs> I don't know if this was a good idea, but let's see how this turns out. Jesus Christ, what is this? What, what, what did this become? I hope you guys have your talkies, because you guys are. That's the walk of shame right there, boy. This shit's gonna be good. I can still say that? I mean, you can, you can say it. Jordan's by. Hey, Jordan. Justin. Hey, um, I wish things would have worked out for us, but right. you're okay. a qualified candidate. Word. That Word. was the most awkward so, 10 minutes of my life. Oh. So I have to ask you, what right. made you catch on so fast? Because we're filming a new oh, episode okay. on the TV series, right, but kind right. of a spinoff of Punk. So okay. we pretty much were working with your girlfriend to see how you'd act in an awkward situation out of work. Nice. Um, Look at her. Okay, yeah, well, what gave it away? Um, I don't know. I think the whole idea was kind of like a little outlandish. Was it the house? Like, was the house? I mean, yeah, I guess. I also wasn't um, getting used to like being hit on. on That's like, terrible. Oh, he said in a work meeting. I was going to say, he, period. I'm saying. In one work meeting? I think that was a little random. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess like it, I mean, first of all, it, it didn't really match like the, like the Vibe, I guess. Everything was just kind of, you know, suspicious, a little weird, out of out of the norm, I guess. Um, and um, I don't know. I, so we wasn't sort of, sly at all. None of us. You know what I mean? I mean, no. Like, it, you know, at, at first it was just like, oh, okay, like, yeah, maybe this is just this is just Hollywood. You know, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I've never, never been to like a really big like work meeting for someone that you know works for like the whole like music Type shit. industry thing, but. Um, I think the more I stayed, I was kind of like, yeah, this is, this is, 
is interesting. So, so he didn't like, even catch on for a little bit. Right, yeah, like, this is uh, a little strange. <laughs> a little strange, yeah. Like, Hollywood is strange, though. I'm not used to this, so. Hey, well, you're one of our first contestants on the show. <laughs> I mean, guess congratulations on figuring it out. And yeah, thanks, I guess. This is supposed to be a much more entertaining episode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you guys think made this man catch on? Like, I didn't want him to fail, but I wanted to see It don't even seem like he really caught on. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't. The way he just explained himself, he it didn't seem like, He was just, it was just different for him, for He not used to it, for Because he just told y'all, for So he didn't catch on. So typically, y'all could have went in a phase, too. Because he didn't, he really didn't catch on. I ain't gonna lie. All the way through. I feel like we had a good plan, but this man was just too smart for us. He saw through everything. Maybe if we would have filmed this in an office, it would have been different, though. Like, maybe filming in a house wasn't the best for an interview setting. Or maybe Jordan throwing all that shade at Canada made him suspicious. Or maybe the test did go all the way through. Maybe Justin is super loyal that every time he gets hit on by a girl, he truly questions its legitimacy. And what do you think about her putting you on the show and working with us? Uh, it was okay. funny. I mean, yeah, it was fun, I guess. Okay. It definitely seems like something she would do. <laughs> that was like not what I expected. I didn't expect you to find out. I mean, I kind of wish it was actually like a work meeting. Like, I no, it is. <laughs> Folks said, Folks said he really want to hire you, though. That's what he said. He just said that. He said that shit upstairs. I really want to hire the nigga. I'm fucking him. Let's see if he said that right now, though. He said that, too, though. No, he he might actually have a job now. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, 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 I kind of wish I, I could have gotten a job, but... No, that's real. He, Damn, so he was dead ass. Was a awkward and cringy, but Justin seems to have been taking it all pretty well. Honestly, I feel like Jocelyn would have been fine telling him it was a loyalty test. I hope you're not mad at me. I'm not mad. No. I just want to no, see where this going to go. No, I'll get you back to the floor. He said, I'll get you back, though. Don't worry. Too bad. We got to put her to the test now. <laughs> I'm sure Jocelyn will eventually tell him what this actually was if he doesn't already know, and I'm sure they're going to be fine. Just how I'm also pretty sure that Justin would have passed if we would have taken this thing to a phase two. Well, I mean, hopefully, right? I thought this was funny. It seemed really awkward, though, right? I thought it was funny. And it was awkward he for you? He was so, okay, he was really funny. He definitely knew. He knew, like, right away. Like, literally, the second I said anything, like, flirty, he just gave me a look of, like. And now he thinks he was on pump. It's like double inception. He's going to figure out what this really was oh, later. Oh, he, wait, he doesn't. Okay, so that's why you guys said that. Because I was like, why are we not saying what we actually. Yeah, no, that's why Sergio didn't come down. So he doesn't. He doesn't know what we're. It's more of a prank. I think it he wasn't knows. Like a... I think he knows what it is. That's tough. I ain't gonna lie. The last two for y'all, but y'all ain't y'all ain't come up with a good plan for the plan. Been dog shit both times. Next time, give us a better plan, man.